What if reality doesn't exist until you look at it? What if the mere act of observation doesn't just influence outcomes, it creates them? In 1927, Werner Heisenberg, one of the key architects of quantum mechanics, introduced something that would turn our understanding of the universe inside out, the uncertainty principle. But this wasn't just a weird quirk of subatomic particles, it was a blow to the very heart of objectivity. Heisenberg showed that at the deepest level of nature, the observer is always entangled with the observed. You cannot separate the mind from what it's perceiving, not in physics, not in consciousness, not in life. In this video, we'll go beyond the math and into the mind, exploring how Heisenberg's ideas hint at a quantum reality where consciousness is not outside the system, but inside the equation. Werner Heisenberg wasn't just a physicist, he was a revolution. A German prodigy who, at the age of 25, formulated one of the most mind-bending principles in all of science. Alongside Bohr, Schrödinger, and Dirac, Heisenberg helped build the strange new language of quantum mechanics, a framework so radically different from Newton's classical universe that it felt almost mystical. But unlike some of his peers, Heisenberg was deeply reflective not just on the physics, but on its implications. He was known to quote Plato, discuss Eastern philosophy, and even suggest that reality itself is dependent on the act of measurement. For Heisenberg, quantum theory wasn't just about equations, it was about what those equations told us about the role of consciousness in the cosmos. At its core, the uncertainty principle says something simple but profound. You can't precisely know both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. The more accurately you measure one, the less accurately you know the other. But this isn't just a limitation of our instruments. It's a limitation built into the very fabric of quantum reality. Subatomic particles don't have definite positions or speeds until they're observed. They exist in a cloud of probabilities, a superposition of all possible states. When we measure them, we collapse that cloud into a single reality. But the act of measuring is an interaction. The observer affects the observed. Heisenberg realized that you can't remove the subject from the object. The observer is part of the system. And this insight shattered the classical illusion that the universe is a detached machine, ticking away independently of our awareness. This leads us straight into what's known as the observer problem a haunting idea that lingers at the heart of quantum physics. If observation collapses a quantum system into a definite state, what counts as an observer? A photon? A measuring device? A conscious mind? Heisenberg didn't claim to have all the answers, but he knew the implications were massive. In one of his most famous statements, he wrote, What we observe is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. In other words, Reality responds to how we look at it. This idea puts human consciousness, once thought to be irrelevant in science, back into the equation. We're no longer just spectators, we're participants. And this echoes what mystics, shamans and sages have said for centuries, your awareness co-creates your reality. Heisenberg was one of the central figures behind what's now known as the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, developed with Niels Bohr. This interpretation holds that quantum particles don't have definite properties until they're measured. Before that, they exist in a state of pure potential. But here's where it gets wild. The act of observation doesn't just reveal the state, it selects it. Bohr and Heisenberg believed that quantum theory doesn't describe reality itself, but only what we can say about reality. It's not just that the observer influences the outcome. The very notion of an independent, observer-free reality breaks down. While not explicitly mystical, this view blurs the boundary between inner and outer, mind and matter. It implies that the universe doesn't fully exist in a measurable form until we ask it a question. Here's where things get even more interesting. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that consciousness itself might play a role in collapsing the wave function. That is, turning a cloud of probabilities into a definite outcome. While Heisenberg never fully endorsed this idea, he acknowledged its philosophical gravity. He wrote, The atoms or elementary particles themselves are not real, 
They form a world of potentialities rather than one of things or facts. But how do potentialities become facts? Some thinkers, like John von Neumann and later Eugene Wigner, suggested that only conscious observation could do it. The mind in this view doesn't just witness reality, it finalizes it. This links quantum theory to ancient spiritual insights, that awareness is the ground of being, and the world is a projection within consciousness. So what does this mean for the mind? The quantum mind hypothesis is a speculative but increasingly discussed idea that consciousness is not just affected by quantum phenomena, it arises from them. The brain, in this view, isn't a classical machine but a quantum system capable of entangled states and non-local coherence. Heisenberg didn't explicitly endorse this, but his framework laid the philosophical groundwork. If reality only becomes definite when observed, and if the mind is the most refined form of observation, then perhaps consciousness is not produced by the brain, but filters through it from a deeper quantum field. This idea echoes both quantum logic and mystical teachings, that there is a unified field of awareness and what we call mind is a localized ripple within that field. Heisenberg's ideas changed more than physics. They changed how we see ourselves. He forced science to confront the mirror it had long ignored. In a deterministic, objective universe, humans are irrelevant. But in Heisenberg's quantum world, we matter deeply. Our choices, our attention, our consciousness, they shape the unfolding of reality. This doesn't mean we can wish things into existence, but it does suggest that reality is responsive to consciousness. The observer is part of the cosmos, not above it or outside it. Heisenberg reminded us that the more deeply we look into nature, the more it starts to reflect back our own mystery. The universe, it turns out, might be less like a machine and more like a dream shared and co-authored by all conscious beings. Heisenberg didn't just break physics. He broke the illusion of separation. He showed us that the universe is not a stage set for objective measurement, but a living field entangled with the act of observation itself. And if that's true, then we're not just looking at reality, we're participating in its becoming. The observer is always part of the equation. The question is, what are you observing into being? Are you collapsing possibilities into fear or into awareness, presence and truth? Let this idea land. You are not an accident. You are not separate. You are the quantum mind observing itself. If this video opened something within you, leave your reflections in the comments below. And if you're ready to keep exploring the deep mystery of consciousness and the cosmos, subscribe, because reality is listening and so is the universe behind it.